Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. This time I'm going to show you where to get the Carpenter's Key, where to use it, and how to defeat the boss inside. Keep in mind that the boss is repeatable, so after you kill him once you can keep going, and uh, he does drop a shard, so you probably want to kill him multiple times. The key to the Carpenter's Room can be found in the Jian Kecht Cathedral, and you will need the Invert Ability, uh, or at the very least the High Jump, uh, if you want to do this on like a subsequent playthrough under Game Plus or something. But you can find it right here at the very top of the last bell tower on the right. And the door for the Carpenter is in the Oriental Sorcery Lab in the vertical room right above the Warp Room. So if you have access to the Warp Room, you have pretty easy access to this room. The enemy in here, the boss in here, throws a really deadly projectile. He throws butcher knives at you, or carpenter's knives. They look like butcher's knives, I don't know. Uh, but definitely bring in the Directed Shield Shard. These drop from the Shield Outsiders. They can be found in the Tower of Twin Dragons, as well as the Cathedral Bell Tower. There's a couple in there. So, as you just saw, the Master Carpenter, as soon as I walked in, threw a giant knife at me. So you want to learn his animations, see when he's about to throw things, and then take out the Directed Shield, and the Directed Shield will block all the damage. So, very important uh, to block those. What you want to do as well is bring a fast weapon. And that is because the longer this fight goes on, the more demon lords this guy is going to summon. So when he summons a demon lord, take care of it, because as you can see here, he's building another something that summons the demon lords. So you want to take care of them as soon as possible. Make sure to use a directed shield. You can use it in midair to block his projectiles. He's always going to be throwing them at you as long as you're jumping around. Make sure you bring some high potions, whatever healing items you have, you're, you're going to need it. He deals a lot of damage really really fast and whenever he's done building one of these altars or whatever it is that summons these demon lords you want to be very careful because he's going to turn around and sort of walk into you in reverse and deal damage to you inadvertently so just be on the lookout for that he does drop a shard and that shard is very powerful and it is called the chisel barrage and basically a chisel barrage is his knife throw but it is a directional shard so that means that you could just spam it. So equipping that, uh, just you know, move the right joystick in a direction, hold R2 or right trigger, and then just sort of like let, this, let, let the knives come out. And they just pelt enemies. As you can see, I'm killing this Demon Lord, dealing 74 damage like every half second. It's incredibly powerful. And of course, you will need it to complete the shard menu, so just keep that in mind. But yeah, that's where the Carpenter's Key is. That's how you defeat the Master Carpenter boss inside. He is repeatable. He does drop a shard. So make sure you get that if you're going for that completion as well. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you like this content a whole lot, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below. All right, guys. I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.